What's up, y'all? Carson. I'm making your arrowhead, buddy. We're gonna work a little piece of some flint that my nephew found. We're gonna try and get a flake off of it. I think it's been worked before. Let's see if we can get a good flake off of it. Make a point, huh? Oh, that's looking. There we go. Those are a little small. That's pretty though, there, isn't it? So we can get a good big flake off. That sounded good. All right, we can probably work with that one. So let's see what we can do here. Maybe take one more big flake. Limestoney. A lot of times you'll find this, and a lot of the good flints already been skinned off. Let's see if we can get a good flake right in here. It looks like that has the potential to be a good one. Clean that up a little bit. It didn't quite release, but it's there. There it goes. It's also a nice flake. Probably a good flake for making a little arrowhead out of. So let's see what we can do with that. Set that down to the side. Clean up some of them feathered edges there where it's the stone itself is not really strong enough to support the percussion flake. It's crusty. Stuff's tough too. Decent plate there. These kind of hard flakes I'm taking from the base. This was obsidian or glass. That would be trouble, but this is not. This is some pretty tough stuff. Let's do my little shearing tool that I was literally just looking at a second ago. There we go. Take a few and get this side ready to get some flakes taken off. These are just little bitty pressure flakes I'm shearing off. And get something off of that tip there. Those hinges, that's okay. It's so early on, it's not gonna make any difference. That one might make a difference. Ouch.
man, this thing would really, really be a lot better to do with indirect. But let's see here. I might do a little indirect on it real quick. I lose this. I don't really need it for this. That's going to make everybody's life a little easier. I'm going to move the camera a little bit. It just lets us get really, really on the platform and concentrate the force so that uh, we can drive some decent, decent flakes. can't get past that little hump of course I think part of that is the hinge that I I made a minute ago tough that's a decent flake there I mean I'm really having to bring that the striker into the indirect equation down pretty hard to get the flakes to turn loose all right so here's where we're at now there's a line of flakes waiting to come off there for sure. So let's take them. We're just working on thinning this thing out a little bit. Once we get it thin, we'll grab our pressure flaker and we will start going with it, give it the general shape. It's a good flake. I need to do, I need to change my setup for indirect. I do a lot of indirect when I'm not on camera. Uh, I really like it. It's, it's a real good way to get a piece of stone pretty thin, pretty fast. All right, now I need to reset this platform here and take a couple more indirect flakes. I may end up having to reset it a little, a little bit more aggressively with the pressure flaker. See if we can get that hinge off. We'll be well on our way here with this one. There we go. We got it off of there. Don't really need to abrade these. It wouldn't hurt. big scooping flake it's getting thin now it's getting thin in a spot you don't want it to get thin in the middle you want the middle to stay a little thick see that scoop it scooped it out right there so we need to get another flake right there to try and balance that out i'm gonna see if i got enough of a platform anywhere i'm probably gonna hinge it because it is not quite built right but Let's see. That might have helped. Okay, I can I can live with that. So here we go. Here we got our little preform here. Now we're gonna shape it with the pressure flaker, make it sharp, give it some notches. It'll be ready.
And I'm probably done abrading this. I don't see myself abrading it no more. Let me twist this camera back. There we go. This kind of stone, you're not going to really get like beautiful flaking patterns. and It's just, it could really, 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 really benefit from some heat treatment. But... That's not really, we're going to go with raw stone here, which is, which is good too, because if you were actually going to use this, uh, this thing would be durable. A lot of these flakes I've taken on this, if they were a glassier material, uh, would have snapped them for sure. Would have snapped it, but this dude's going to be tough. And that's good. Tough as its nature. Get the pressure flakes off the base there. Give it a little thinning. The base is still a little bit thick. I'm having to use my legs to get the power to push those off like I want. All right, that got it nice and thin there for us. Then we're going to braid this side and go down that side, sharpen her up. And go. My elbow's none too pleased about that. This is why I work a lot of glass, y'all. Getting old. And this really tough stone hurts. Hey, we're starting to look like an arrowhead now, aren't we? And honestly, that would work. You Lash that to an arrow. I'm also kind of to the point that I'm not going to braid it anymore. Got a little curve in it, but that's okay. You can see those in artifacts as well. I'm not expecting like really deep notches here. I like the overall shape though. Ah, I broke the tip off. Wouldn't you know it. You have that sometimes. I was really, really pressing on it there to get them flakes to let go. Over judging the amount of abuse it could take, I guess.
It's okay, we just got a shorter point. This thing would be rough on a deer now. All right, we got that bad spot off. There we go. Now, we gotta see if we can notch it, which it's kind of thin down there. I may just notch it with the pressure flicker. I do need to sharpen the tip a little bit. Tip kind of rolled on me. It's going to take me a little while. It's going to take me a few sharpenings to uh, to get where I rolled that copper back around on itself out of that. So, yay. It's okay, though. We can get it. I got faith in us, y'all. I got faith in us. I'm not going with the horseshoe nail notcher because this material is stout. And I want something with a little more. You're not gonna make real fine notches on this anyway. So I want something with a little more power. That horseshoe nail will bend pretty easily. Then we just gotta walk it in. I'm not expecting too much of these notches. I'll just go ahead and say that. Lost a little bit of the ear on that one, which is fine. The wider that notch is, the better it's going to be for us. To be able to get it to notch.
one more and we'll do the other side. All right, we're gonna call that notched for that side. Woo, I'm sweating. Probably gonna clean that little edge up a little bit. These are much bigger notches than I normally do, but you're gonna find that with this grainier, tough, tougher material that fine notches are just not, it's not in the cards. And that's okay. It's still as 100% as good an arrowhead as it will work as well. It's one without really fine artistic notches. So the materials have their limits. It's a good thing to remember as a as a young napper is that the material is going to kind of dictate what you're going to make with it in a sense there may be guys out there that can notch this though way better than i can but it has been my experience that you're going to be kind of bound by the material that you have Is. I don't think I'm gonna push them any further because it's starting to act like I'm gonna lose a good little piece. Maybe I can try for one more. Nah, I think it's about done. Let's get the base cleaned up. Now that's a totally functional little arrowhead right there. I know some Georgia stone. Yeah, it's handy. That's okay though. That stuff is tough now. And I'm making it for my nephew. He'll be tickled with it. I hope. Hope you're doing all right, buddy. A few little flakes down the side to kind of clean up the overall profile. I hate that the tip broke off, but hey, that's part of it, y'all. If you ain't breaking, you ain't making. There it is, and well, that's ready to be used. That would be a deer killing machine right there. Hope you like it, bud.